Hello, welcome to Eloquent Countenance, a RPG maker horror game developed by Rachel Draws This, available on Ichio. Apparently, it's about a nun who is assisting her pastor with funeral services. And it is a horror game, so there are definitely some uh, dark themes, such as uh, blood and disturbing content, so be forewarned. But let's just start by mourning. Let's mourn. Right, this game is a work of fiction, but the game includes materials reminiscent of existing religions. It has nothing to do with real life, totally. The game contains subjective interpretations of angels. Also, something about blood and, yeah, disturbing stuff. That's what I said before. Alright, so it has nothing to do with real religion. You know, this is fake religion. You've been told that the pastor of your church had suddenly passed away last night. Oh. Okay, so the pastor isn't alive. I thought that they were alive, but... Alright. I'm gonna press a button there. As you helped with his wife's uh, funeral not long ago... You were assigned to assist the pastor's funeral service. Today as well. Okay, I think I read that wrong. Because I read the store page of when I assist the pastor's funeral service. I didn't realize that was his funeral. You know, I thought it was in general help with the funeral service. And by the time the service comes to an end... Misinterpreted, you know. The uh, description of the game. The funeral is about to begin. All guests of the funeral, please find your way over to the seats. For all service assistance, please make sure to review the procedures of the ceremony thoroughly. Remember, everything must be perfect. Uh, there should be a written procedure for assistance to read somewhere near here. Praying to the heavens to help me not make any mistakes during the ceremony would be very helpful as well. Okay, what a... What a cute anime nun. I don't know. I feel like that's like a that's like a thing, you know? People like to draw religious figures or religious people as like cute anime girls. Anyway, let us do this then. Or let us do this then. Sure. Alright, here's the funeral service. Uh is there a menu? It's, uh, load, I can't save. A partially burnt photo. Hmm. Don't forget. Well that's ominous. <laughs> What about the back? Lisa? Lisa, maybe? It's kind of like a C, though, not an S. Lisa? Lisa? I don't know. Anyway, can't leave. Nope, can't leave. So interesting perspective, by the way. Not a lot of RPG Maker games kind of like are from this perspective. They're usually, like, obviously 2D, right? This game is, like, 2.5D. Which, uh, comes, I feel like, with its own design problems, you know? Because you make it 2.5D, sometimes uh, it's a little hard to recognize what you can interact with and stuff. Like, what's the background, what's the foreground and stuff, but... Anyway. Uh, list of holy names. Okay. Abigail, meaning joy of God. Anna, meaning God's grace. Angelica. Alright, this is just like... I don't know if it's related to anything. Caitlin. I don't know if I remember this. Bless, Lord of Heaven, Krista. I'm assuming this might be related, because this is also a puzzle game, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. This is also a puzzle game. The bane of my existence, like any kind of puzzle in the video game, but I guess we'll see how hard it is. Eden, Elizabeth, Eve. Yeah, I know about Eve. Adam and Eve? The true appearance of an angel is impossible to describe the use of human tongue. Human beings who see their original form will have their minds broken, their flesh burn, and eventually lead to their death due to their overwhelmingly holy presence. Hmm. Th that sounds like something else, you know? That sounds like eldritch beings. <laughs> Well, therefore, when angels communicate with humans, they must appear as an acceptable illusion or a vessel that the human mind can comprehend. Most angels choose to appear in the form of animals or humans. The vessel of an angel in the human world is gifted by the Lord. However, this privilege is no longer given after the fall of an angel. Hmm. Angels who have fallen have their vessel taken or banished from heaven without having an acceptable form to properly exist on our world. Sounds dangerous. Anything else? Small frame painting depicting a holy angel. Well, a form of a holy angel, anyway. Okay. This frame is perfect. I should be able to pray to this. How holy. I'm touched. May the heavens be with me to help me remember everything I need to know on this day. Ah, okay. It's a savior. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you see Kor Korean here. That's funny. Well, yeah. This game was originally in Kor uh, Korean, I believe. 
I'm not sure if the game came out earlier or not, but at least this is when I found out about the game recently. I assume the English translation anyway. Uh, verse of the day. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Oh, how some 5521 or something like that? Are, is this a Bible verse? I'm not very familiar, you know. I mean, obviously this game, you know, it said like this is not exactly related to any real life religions, but, you know, I'm not exactly a religious person, I feel like. I don't know much about uh, this kind of religion. Uh, oops, I mean that it again. What's the other option? Uh, study of angels, okay. Uh, this is number one, technically, because we read number two before. Angels are trustworthy servants of the Lord. They obey the Lord unconditionally, prior uh, prioritizing any given tasks to them. They were created only to act according to the will of the Lord. The voice of an angel is very sacred, soft, and most importantly, incredibly persuasive. Therefore, it is natural for the Lord's followers to believe the angels' words unconditionally, as we follow them to receive words and blessings of the Lord through them. Hmm. You know, the only thing I know about angels and demons are, is from, like, the sky, uh, you know, but anyway. Metal candle holder. Seems like there's no need to use it at this moment, all right? Ooh, funeral information memo. All right. oh. hmm. Weird. Uh, another nosebleed. When would I get used to... Used to what? Have I bled like this before? Oh. Don't worry about it, I guess. The final event list is now difficult to read from it being covered by the blood. Well, what? But apparently the order of service is to do the opening speech, then do some praying, then you gotta chant the hymns, then you gotta lay the reefs, the last one is... I'm not sure. I kind of really like required or... Rapture? <laughs> you know, it's not rap. I don't think it's rapture. I don't think so anyway. Rapture is something else entirely. Um, and... Oh no, puzzle. Uh, okay. I think that's hands? Or is that a bird? I think that's hands. Right? Hands equals candle. Music equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And there's a little symbol below that as well. What is that? Hmm, not sure. Like a flower, maybe? Press X to review your inventory. All right. This is all the preparation I need. I should start heading over to the front of the altar and find my assigned spot. Okay. I guess that's it. I think we're all prepared to start the funeral service. The music stopped, though. It's kind of weird. Um, hmm. uh, we have uh, very uh, nice looking uh, guests today. Are you are all friends and family of the pastor? He, he was a he was a good guy, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just mingling with our guests. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're all uh, you all seem to be in the shade though. Maybe we get more lights in this church. Anyway, a strange voice suddenly starts to ring your head. Be not afraid, human. Okay, I'm trying my best to not be afraid. Dot dot dot. The ellipsis doesn't help, though. Wow, that, that was way too slow and dramatic for my taste. Yeah, no, if I keep speaking like this, we'll be here all day. So, you know what? <laughs> Go be free. I'll release you from this pain and start speaking normally. Uh, give a huge round of applause for my thoughtfulness, everybody. Yay. Oh, and turn this weird background ambience off, too. It's kind of killing the mood. Who is this person? Why are they talking like this? They're so casual. Now that's all out of the way. Can you hear my oh-so-friendly and soft voice that just makes your heart melt away from all the trustworthiness? Um. Da, da, da. Wait a minute. Do you generally not hear me? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, how about now? You hear me now, right? Yeah. I'm shooting my guns. No, try my best. I'm just gonna continue assuming you do hear me. Now, how about it? Aren't you curious on how I look now that you heard my voice? All right, all right. Everyone, gather around for the grand entrance of yours truly. Okay. Oh, it's God. Already? 
That's quick. Or something. I don't know. Oh, it's just this guy. Ta da! Oh. I was wondering like, what voice I would give this disembodied person, but it's just this guy. Uh, aren't you too disappointed? What, do you expect me to be more well holy looking? Oh, come on, chin up now. No one besides me even wanted to try and come meet you. I personally came to help you out since I'm super nice and proper like that. You should be grateful, lady. Before we start getting attached to each other, I need you to answer something for me first. Surprise quiz. Guess what I'm supposed to be. Feel free to answer however you like. You're not getting punished or anything. I'm just an illusion in your head. How could I ever hurt you? Uh, that doesn't mean I want to hurt you if I could, by the way. By the way. So I'm assuming I'm evil just yet. <laughs> just yet. I mean, are you a demon? We don't know much about demons, though. We do know that angels take the form of humans. It's not, they're not God either. So I'm assuming he's an angel. But... Demon. Oh, was it that obvious? That's right, I'm the meanest and rottenest demon there is. Growl, bark, give me your body, oh, eat your soul. You thought I'd say things like that? Seriously. What made you think I'm a demon in the first place? I only asked if you could hear me. Do you not see this holy light shining from above behind me upon my graceful entrance? Well, you know, anyone could do that. I'm an angel. That's right, an angel. I mean, that's what I thought. Well, guardian angel to be specific. You know, the ones that get assigned to a specific human and look after them so they don't die. I think we're also called the silent protector sometimes. You're not very silent right now. <laughs> but don't call me that. Too pretentious of a title, don't you think? So just call me by my name. It's Forkus. Forkus? 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 <laughs> Anyways, I believe this is the point where you're starting to wonder. Why is this suspicious angel reeking with old man energy suddenly talking to me? Why does he talk like that? His characterization sucks. What? Am I not allowed to talk to people when I'm bored? Are you saying angels should shut up and only stand around looking pretty? I didn't say any- Oh well, I'm not here because I'm bored anyway. I'm here for business. The human I've been assigned to look to look over got tired of this obviously suspicious church. Now it'd be really convenient for me if someone who's already on the site were to help me. Lady, how about we make a deal? Deal of the devil? <laughs> hmm. Alright, what I just said sounds a lot like I'm supposed to be something else that's not an angel, but like I told you before, I'm telling you again now, I'm 100% pure angel. Don't forget that. Anyway, you even get a prize if you do your part well. It's drumroll, please. Ta-da! Me! Hmm. Youch, aren't you being too harsh? Wait a minute, aren't you supposed to be a nun? How can you even act like that towards me? I'm a very serious and graceful angel, you know? You still don't get why me being around you would be the best thing that could ever happen to you? Listen here. I'm a guardian angel, yeah? Think of everything guardian angels can do for their human. You'll never get hurt. All troubling things in your life, poof, gone. How useful is that? Well, how about it? Pretty neat, eh? Isn't that your responsibility in the first place? I'm doing you a favor. You're not my original responsibility, kid. <laughs> oh, okay, this got very serious. Uh, oh, never mind. What I, what I mean is that, yes, that's my job, but I'll upgrade those perks by 11. Like a bonus package. Guardian Angel Premium, you could say. Is there any hidden cost of that? What do you even want? What I want is fairly simple. No matter what happens, I want you to focus and finish today's funeral perfectly all the way from the start to finish. I was already going to do that. Why is it that convenient? Well, you just need to do what you planned then. Oh, and don't forget. Never think about escaping or helping someone. Ignore them. Focus only on what you're doing. Well, if, that, if that's not ominous, I don't know what is. <laughs> Was that too specific? Are you suspicious of me now? You sure you're not, demon? How much more do I have to make myself clear on this topic, lady? Do you even realize how much likability points from me to you have been dropping so far? I do want to make you trust me from the get-go, believe me. But you know how it is. The boss upstairs is pretty strict about this kind of thing. Listen, all angels have rules we must follow. We cannot let humans know what kind of crisis or problems they're going to be facing directly. Boss isn't much of a fan of the classic showing illusions to warn what's about to come method anymore. I didn't really like the idea when I proposed to meet you this way, but you know, since I'm a nice angel, I begged and begged. So here I am. This is as good as it gets. Meaning, I can only help you through vague lessons and never the direct answer. <laughs> you know, it's like, all this case. You must figure out the rest on your own and overcome it. 
<laughs> I know, right? Sucks that I'm basically some kind of pet rather than an actual assistant. But I guess it's fair. Characters with no at all mentor positions like me are supposed to be enigmatic after all, or else we won't be popular. But anyway, since I've eaten up a lot of time, I'll let you go for now. If you want to talk to me again, come find me. Oh, and how about this? If you find yourself stuck or clueless, just send me up a prayer. I'll come right down. Good luck, lady. I'll be cheering you on. Remember my words. I'm on your side. I don't know. It seems pretty sus to me. Also, I didn't know this was like a comedy game. You know, that he really just feels like a comedy character. Huh. I, I can't believe I let that strange voice distract me. I need to focus and go to my assigned spot. Who is that again? Why do I feel like I've been forgetting things more often lately? Even now, I feel that I'm missing something very important. For now, I'll just use the other assistants as an example and figure something out. Alright. Hey, what's up? You feeling good? Yeah, mm -hmm, okay, I'm, I'm just checking the guests, you know, seeing if they're, like, comfortable. Alright, okay. Again, interesting that there's, like, 2.5D. I, I don't know if you call this 2.5D. It's kind of like a... I don't know, it's kind of like a fixed camera angle, really. You know, the only 2D stuff is, like... The, the sprites, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, because usually a lot of RPG Maker games are 2D either top-down or... I guess, like, side-scrollers, I guess. Hello? Are you other nuns? Hmm. What's this? You hear the sounds of something breathing heavily from inside the cage. You can't see what's inside due to being covered by the black cloth. Hmm. Also suspicious. <sighs> Alright. The church's altar. Now this looks familiar. It's like a stove made bed. Don't want to actually lie on it, however. Coffin where the pastor lies. Did the pastor's chest move up and down just now? Must have been my imagination. Must have been my nation. Nothing there. Must have been the wind. I'm maybe over here. I may as well stand here. I can't really stand there though. It's blocking the... Oh, this should be my science spot. Oh, here you go. Oh, yeah, okay. You're supposed to go there. You're supposed to follow what the other one is doing. It's just the cage was blocking my way, so I thought I couldn't go there. Anyway, we will now begin the funeral service. First of all, I would like to express my sincere appreciation to everyone who gathered here today. Not long after his wife has passed, our pastor has fallen behind her steps. But everyone, this is not a thing to be sad about. As the faithful servant of the Lord has told us before, our pastor will never abandon us even after death. Hmm. That sounds scary. At this moment, the pastor is very happy to see how many followers of his have gathered here for him. Just like how his wife has yet to leave and been protecting us, the pastor will do the same and take care of all of us. Let us pray in appreciation of his kindness and thoughtfulness. Pray. Hello? Please look this way. Anyone? A voice is coming from inside the iron cage covered by the black cloth. Is anyone there? Please, someone help me. I'm so scared. Help. Well, alright. Um, you know, for now, I'm just gonna follow the angel's advice. Angel, quote unquote. And just follow uh, what I need to do, you know? So that means probably ignoring this, pla uh, this cage. It's probably nothing. Ah, I swear that she looked towards my direction. Please don't ignore me. Please help. Even if it's in now, just once, please talk to me. It's time for the next procedure. Whatever is happening, I need to focus on progressing the funeral for now. The next event is... Prayers, yes? Uh, there's a drawn symbol of hands put together and a candle on the memo. How should I go about this? I mean, probably... Light the candles? Also, I guess we have a flashlight, by the way? It's kind of weird. I assume we... Flashlights can... It's right of the nuns? No. Okay. Well, the candles get to be lit. Hmm. Prayers. I assume we need lights. Interesting. Okay, it's kind of weird. The background's like... Maybe through the game. I don't know. Anyway. So... Is there some candles I can like use? There's a candle holder. Of course! I need this to light up the candles. 
Oh, my foot's just always this loud. Oops, uh, was that audio too over the top? Ah! Shh, it's me, lady, it's me! Not again. See, it's me, your friendly neighborhood guardian angel. Oh, that demon from earlier. How many times did I have to teach you the lesson, lady? You surprised me. Does this mean the loud footstep just now was... An auditory hallucination played by me. Ah, oh, don't look so annoyed. You think I pulled that off just to mess with you? I mean, it was pretty hilarious seeing you about to ball your eyes out. <laughs> right, right, sorry. The people here are pretty obsessed with everything being perfect, huh? Even a single mistake could make them think you've ruined their entire parade. For example, you make a noise when they're going at it during their hardcore praying session. They'll hear your footsteps at the same volume as how I just played it to you, or hey, maybe even worse. Heh, <laughs> they'll think it's loud as the sound of the entire building collapsing down. Anyways, long story short, watch your step. Oh, that's enough life lessons for me. Good luck, lady. You're killing it so far. Watch your step. He definitely did that just to mess with me. Save the game. Okay, good. I knew it. Watch my step. Ah, my people are praying. My foot should be covered by their voices, which means they won't notice me. I need to light all the candles without drawing attention to myself. Now, what if I just like... Wow, la, 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 la. Game over. Oh, okay, you just die. Not even like, not like a sequence or anything. It's just like you ruin the thing, so you instantly just go to game over screen. Also, her like, she need to be, she seemed to be chained or something. That was weird. Gotta be careful. I can only move when they're praying. I think. Okay. Okay, ready. Hold that. Oh, okay. And then they'll stop praying. I gotta wait. Apparently. Sure. And then it. 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 Oh. oh. Gotta wait. Until they're praying again. Blah, 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 blah. Oop. Amen. Thank you everyone for your sincere prayers. Phew, now that that's all out of the way, the next procedure will be sure to begin soon. I should return to my spot and think over what I should do next. Alright, now what is the next procedure? I'm actually curious. Uh, it's chanting hymns. Hymns or hymns? I think it's hymns. Also, I would like to save again. How do I save again? Uh, or is it like... Oh, is that auto? Oh, maybe it saves automatically. I thought well, I thought there was a save point in particular, or, or am I just crazy? All right, here. No, no, you save here. Uh, what's prayer? Hey, good job back there. What, you want a prize? All right, all right, you win. You did fantastic after all. Well, here it is, the grand prize. Obtain good job sticker from Forkus. Good. <laughs> well, how about it? Ain't it cute? Oh, then time for you to go back to your job. All right. Okay. So that'll oh, pray. Yeah. He said before, like, yeah, if you pray, then he'll come in to like talk to you. I assume it's like a hint system if you need it. Anyway, uh, I guess we're good. So we'll go back to our side spot. Don't worry about that cage, I guess. Let's now sing praise and blessings for the pastor, his wife and us, the remaining followers of the church and our future. To make the preparations for the next procedure easy, I'll guess, please take out the Chrysanthemums? I don't know how to say that word. Chrysanthemums. Chrysanthemums. You are asked to prepare and hold them up as we all sing. Okay. Go hold it up. Uh, the nun from earlier. Here, over here. You came back. I was worried something might have happened to you. Please. I noticed that there's a lock on the cage with a passcode. It seems like you need to enter four numbers. Please help me figure this out. No. No. No! Please, what do I have to do to make you look my way? Help! I don't know what they're planning to do with me. Help me, Saul, please help me. Nope. That's okay. It is time for the next procedure. I need to stay calm, especially at a time like this. I don't know why they put this cage in front of me. You know, why did they have to specifically put this cage, you know, in front of my assigned positions? They couldn't put it somewhere else? 
the next procedure. There's a musical note next to a flower and a list of numbers. That, that one, I'm not entirely sure what that means. Next to a flower and a list of numbers. Since it's hard to tell what the numbers mean yet, so... Does that mean I should check the flowers first? Well, I am pretty curious if everyone did bring their chrysal chrysanthemums or not. Chrysanthemums? Chrysanthemums? I should take a look around for that. And the person in the case says something about a passcode. Is there something with numbers on it in this church in the first place? Hmm. Okay, so check the flowers. Uh, where are the flowers? Actually, I'm not sure. Good job, sticker. This sticker is actually just a part of Forkus's illusions. You can't view it again on your own. Okay, it doesn't actually exist. It's gone. Alright, reef laying. Or not, is it, or rather, Himes, whatever. So, musicals, and flowers. Don't make bed. Okay. Well, it's not what I want to look at. There you go. Okay. So the guests do have flowers. These people have four. They have four as well. Four. I mean, each of them just have flowers, I guess. Which makes sense. Okay. I don't know. Is there a particular thing I have to do? It just says four... Oh, three? Hmm, you're missing one. One of the flowers suddenly grabbed your skirt. I... I swear I brought it. Please believe me, I did bring it. You need to believe me. It's right here next to me. It's right here until just a moment ago. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I won't make a mistake next time. Please don't report me. What do I do? Do I tell the truth or lie and count the... Christ... Chrysanthemum, mum, <laughs> as if it was here. I, I assume, okay, chrysanthemum, I can't say it, but I, I guess those are flowers. Uh, that's, that's what chrysanthemum means. Okay, other followers looking at him. These guys have uh, flowers. These guys have flowers. These guys have flowers. And you have your flowers. And you have your flowers. Alright, so you just count, basically. Is that what you do? So four, well, let's just... One, two, three, four, five, six. So, well, I'm, I'm bad at counting, so I double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Six times four. Twenty-four minus one, technically, we're telling the truth. I mean, I want the procession to, you know, go as smoothly as possible, so I gotta tell the truth, right? <laughs> Even though something bad might happen to that guy, don't worry about it. It's your, it's, you know, he's just gonna get like, kicked out of the church for a little bit. That's all. And then, you know, that's all that happened, right? Nothing bad will happen or anything. Uh, why do you look so, so surprised? It's me. How about it? Did you miss me? I'm not here to mess with you again, so don't give me the ellipses just yet. I just... Wanted to let you know that I'm, well, proud of you. Share you some good news, too. Did you know? Your trial is about to end soon. I know you must have been in doubt a lot during this whole thing, but you're doing great. Just keep going at it like you have you've been doing, and you'll be fine. Wishing you my luck till the end, lady. Thank you for putting your faith in me. Sus. Very sus. <laughs> anyway. So, I guess 23 is the answer, technically? What do I do now? From my perspective, how many chrysalisms are there on the left? Oh. From my pers perspective on the left. I mean. 12? Hmm. Please check again. Oh. Wait. Did I do it wrong? On my left. My left is her here. Or is it just four? Or do you count like just the one in front of you? Is that what you mean? What? I don't get it. <laughs> what? What do you mean? So her left, right? So her left is over here. 
Four. Four. Did I count that wrong? Four. Wait. No, no, no. I, I'm not, oh, for some reason in my head... See, this is why I'm bad at math. See? Uh, I don't know. Anyway. It's four. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, for some reason, I, I, I miscounted the number that I'm trying to multiply with. But there's like one, two, three... Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it should be six times four. Oh no, it's twenty-four. Oh no, okay, I I miscalculated because I thought for some reason I, would, I thought I was multiplying by three or something. I don't know. It's twenty-four plus another twenty-four. I don't know why I thought I, I multiplied it wrong. Anyway, I'm so bad at math because I always like miscounted or like you know I use the wrong numbers in my head as I multiplied or something. But it's twenty-four per side. I thought for some reason I was done after twenty-four. I don't know why. Anyway, 24 per side, 24 plus 24, 48 in total, minus 1 is 47. Or whatever. Um, but from her perspective, it will be 24. So. Confirmed. From my perspective, how many chrysanthemums are there on the right? Let's tell the truth. It will be 23. Are you sure? Yeah. This means someone didn't prepare the flower. Confirmed. Well done. You may return to your spot and wait for further instructions. While I go check if there are any leftover chrysanthemums to use instead. The ceremony must be perfect. Of course. Of course. Uh, you're gonna get your flower, buddy. I forget which row it was. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you, you, you should get a flower, okay? Yeah, that's fine, right? You're just gonna get your flower. You know, it's all fixed. Don't worry about it. No matter what happens, I came this far. I must make it through the end. I need to put my faith in the guardian angel. With the followers carefully giving up their uh, flowers to the front of the altar onto the pastor's coffin, we mark the end of the day's funeral service. And now... Everything turns red, and we start the night rave. Now, uh, we continue with the possession ritual of the pastor's soul to merge with a sacrificial body for his resurrection. Hmm. Even after death, I guess, we're just transporting his soul to another body, right? For true immortality. We thank the holy angel who has prepared a lovely body to be passed on to the pastor today. For the pastor's soul to easily find his way into the no body, we must first drag the sacrifice out of the cage and lie them up on the altar. Save. No! So you were just a yet another cultist after all. Please, how can you do this to another person? I'm a person, not a sacrifice. Help! I said help! Get away from me! I won't move an inch! I need to drag them out somehow. Ah! The cage is now open. Just stop and get out of here already! Why? Why are you smiling? Hee <laughs> Congratulations, ma'am! Yay! Congratulations! 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 She passed the test! As it was expected. I mean, the wife of our wise pastor would never fall for the cheap tricks like this! We apologize for suddenly making you go through this fake funeral. It's just that you weren't acting like you were yourself lately. We were worried that the ritual early wasn't completed properly. We thought we had to do it again. Please forgive us for ever suspecting you, ma'am. But at least we are absolutely sure now. The angel who blessed us with the power of resurrection. They were right. It's her. The beloved wife of our pastor really has come back to life. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You have no idea what's going on, don't you? First off, relax. I'm not on the same size as those cultists. Since you passed the trial, I think I can tell you now. Finally, I was going crazy trying not to spell anything to you this whole time. You know how angels can fall from grace, yeah? Humans typically think that when an angel falls, they immediately become a demon. But that isn't always the case. Most fallen angels feel a sense of superiority from the fact that they were an angel once. Typo there. So sometimes they obsess over maintaining the image of being holy and powerful, even after their corruption. 
If they're banished from heaven and they choose not to go to hell, where do you think they end up? That's right, the world of humans. Now when angels descend to earth, we can't let our true forms be seen, so we're given a vessel from God to possess, so that we can use them to appear and exist alongside humans without harming them. But that's the case for angels who are still on the job. What about the fallen? God immediately doesn't want anything to do with them, so naturally the originally assigned vessels are taken away from them too. And how can they exist on earth? The answer is obvious if you think about it. They steal a living human's body. Targeting those who are just desperate, targeting those who are unstable, targeting those who are lost. I will be your salvation, just let me in your mind. I will bring your loved one back to life. Sacrifice me a body of a person and let your loved one take over it instead. Using their angelic voices, they convince those people to perform a ritual and possesses their body before completely taking over. And when they wake up, well, they put up an act as if they are whoever that was the original host of the body or a loved one that was brought back to life and lives on that way. That's right. You, just like how you in that girl's body, are playing your part as the beloved wife of the pa pastor who miraculously came back to life. Who knew an angel? Who knew an angel could go so low enough to take over the human they were supposed to look after? You disgust me. Everyone else said you were a lost cause, but I could feel it. You're human. She's somehow still conscious even after you've possessed her, as if you two were spiritually fighting inside. And who gets to control the body? If you failed to complete the funeral service today, these people would have performed yet another ritual to your body, thinking that the one from the last time during the wife's funeral wasn't completed properly then the original host, Angelica, would have completely been erased. That's why I insisted her to follow along, trick them into thinking that she's on their side. That way, even if it isn't now, but slowly and carefully, guide Angelica to her salvation. Even if you are the host now, Angelica will gain back control. How do I know? The fact that you listen to me is enough proof. I'm sorry, Angelica. It will be painful, but until the day I can properly salvage you, you must persevere. Until then... Alright. That was a... Good? Ending? Question mark? Okay. Something about like... I actually don't. I'm, I'm actually a little confused by the end there. I mean, I got most of it. It's kind of like, yeah, the idea is that uh, um, got, it was a fallen angel that like started this cult, and this cult was all about like preserving the fallen angel to find like a sacrificial body, and they did it to the pastor's wife, right? Because the pastor's wife apparently like she died or something. She passed away or something, something like that. I was assuming she died. I mean, she seems pretty young. Yeah, ending one, Silent salvation, and so. They did the ritual to put the fallen angel into the host or something? Something like that. And the idea is that if we actually follow what the ritual did, then uh, they wouldn't do it again. Like, because, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused. Like, who's in control though? I, I'm, I'm a little confused. Who's Angelica? Which was Angelica? Is that the fallen angel or is that the original host? I assume it's the original host, right? That's the pastor's wife? or or Because Angelica's a... Also an angel name, I think. Hmm. Well, anyway, let, let's see if we get like a different ending, actually. I mean, I imagine if we do it differently, though, I wonder what happens. Because obviously things probably will not go well with the cultists, and they'll probably do try to do the ritual again. But I guess we'll see. Let's try again. Please, someone help me, I'm so scared. Alright, so this time, let's try to like defy the, the ritual a little bit. Let's uh, look at the cage, maybe, as this person is asking for help. You know, look inside a little bit. Did you just look towards me? Ah, uh, you did. You saw me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for looking at me. No one else even bothered to look. You were the first to respond. Does this mean you're different from the others, right? Please tell me you're different. What happened? I'm just an ordinary person. Though these cultists, they suddenly kidnapped me off the streets. I didn't have time to fight back. They knocked me out. And when I woke up, here I am out trapped in the cage. Let's escape together. If you help me, I'll promise to keep you safe. They told me I was going to play an important role during today's ceremony. They're obviously playing something bad. Something bad is going to happen to me. Please do something. 
behind you. All right, it's time for the next procedure. You came back. Unlock the passcode, enter four numbers. So that's interesting. I wonder. Hmm. All right, so we can look at the the cage again. This time. Something about a passcode, I guess. Please, open up this up fast! Something bad's gonna happen to me at the end of this funeral where I can feel it! Wait, don't tell me! You don't know the passcode? Then do you know anyone around here that would know about it? I don't want to die here, please don't let me die here! You need to be more quieter there. It's time for the next procedure. You know anything about passcode? Passcode? I believe every assistance have already been informed of it. Why are you asking now? Flirt. Flirt with the nun. Uh... Uh, I forgot about it. Okay. Ugh, my head hurts, so I forget easily. Okay. C-V. C-V? C-V. I need to stay calm, especially at a time like this. Next procedure. There's a musical note next to a flower and list of numbers. Okay. Yeah, I read this already, so. <laughs> but uh, CV, so that, is that Roman numerals? It's always Roman numerals of these people. Or not these people, but like, just in general, these video games rather, from these developers, you know. So, um, CV, is that like 55, five or something? Verse of the day or something? So here? TV, right? 55, 21 or something. I guess I'll lie this time. So was it 24 and then 20? I'll just say 24, 24. It's me, this guy. Just straight to the point. You're not listening to me. Oh, okay, well, this is a different conversation. What did I tell you? No matter what happens, no matter what someone says, mind your own business. Why do I feel like you haven't been doing that? I'm wrong, right? Tell me it's all just a misunderstanding. Threatening me? Forecast? Forecast? I don't want to be the mean guy here, but heh, you just aren't listening to me. Because you know that angels can be more terrifying than demons. Hmm. Nice eyes. Listen carefully. You're in a very dangerous situation, understand? As soon as you were faced with a quick flash of an angel's true form, you start feeling like every ounce of blood in your body was about to pour out from your eyes and nose. Do as you're told. Nah. Right, let, me, let me save though. <laughs> let me save first though. What happens if I pray? Hey, what's up? Tell the truth. Mmm, that's okay. Nah, that's okay. Alright. Can I open the cage, by the way? 5521, right? Because that's the verse of the day. 5521. Uh, for perspective, how many percentages are on the left? Let's say 24. Confirmed. Ah, uh, 24 again. Yeah, don't worry about it. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. Confirmed. I must leave for a short while to quickly check something. I'm totally not to bring in the chains, you know, and and like, like the the cuffs and everything to like put you on the sacrificial, you know, chambers or whatever. Or not chambers, but you know. You may return to your spot and wait for further instructions. Okay. All right, see ya. Oh, they not can get murdered. I guess. Suspicious. Everything is suspicious. That angel, this whole funeral. It's very sus, just like my favorite video game, Among Us. No, uh, why did they cage a person like that? I can't just let, stand here and let that happen. But not only that, if I continue to stay with who knows what might happen to me as well. I made up my mind. Let's just open the lock while that nun's away and I can. But the followers 
carefully giving up their flowers to the front of the altar on the pastor's coffin, we mark the end of today's funeral service. And now, we, we, we you know, change the lighting in, in the church. We continue with the possession ritual of the pastor's soul that emerges the sacrificial body for his resurrection. Da -da -da -da. We thank the holy angel who has prepared a lovely body to pass on to the pastor today. The vans, 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 the body. You first sacrifice the, the person in the cage and light him on the altar. Save the game. I knew it! I knew it! I knew something bad was waiting for me. But a human sacrifice? That's insane! Please, open this cage! Let's, let's uh, escape this place together! Lock of the cage. Four number passcode. I need to enter it. Eh, 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 eh. Uh, 55... Uh, 21. Cage is now open. It's open, run! Hmm? Why? Why aren't you running? We stay here, they'll... It's truly a shame you chose to run away. Well... I can't believe this. That's... that's not her! That's not the pastor's wife! What we feared became reality! The ritual during a funeral didn't work! I knew that woman was acting off lately! Good thing we tested her. We're now sure of her state. Hey, you don't have much time left. I think I can let you know now. You know how angels can fall, yeah? Not all fallen angels become a demon. Many of them feel the sense of superiority from the fact that they were an angel once and tried to remain holy. Oh, and by the way, I, I, there was a typo in the other ending. This, this one's fixed here. Oh. So they wander around the human world since they can't go to neither heaven nor hell. Angels, when we descend, we need to hide our true form so we're given vessels assigned from God to possess. But if you fall, you lose that vessel. Remember how I said fallen angels roam around the human world? How can they, when they don't have a vessel? They steal a living human's body. Targeting those who are desperate, targeting those who are unstable, targeting those who are lost. It'll be your salvation, just let me in your mind. I'll bring your loved one back to life, sacrifice your body of a person, and I'll let your loved one take over instead. Okay. I mean, I read this already, but... Let's go over third quickly, use an angel of voices, they convince those who perform the ritual, and possess the body before completely taking over the mind. And when they wake up, well... They put in an act as if they are whoever that was the original host of the human body or the loved one that was brought back to life and lives on that way. Hmm. Yeah, they just pretend. You probably already know where I'm heading with this. Since you got the other ending. Just like how the angel, fallen angel possessing you is acting as the wife of the pastor who came back to life. But somehow, you continuously showed signs of consciousness even after the possession. The people of the church noticed something was off, and they became suspicious. So they called it an emergency meeting. <laughs> so they set up this fake funeral to observe how you behave. This was both a test and a trap. To see if you listen or not, to see if you're the wise and faithful woman of the church they know and adore. That's why I asked you to do what they want for now. I descend there and help you, but they aren't letting me go down. They're saying that your actions have consequences. It's you who didn't listen, and now you must pay the price. Even when you're still alive, even when you were still asking for help, you were just confused. You only did what you thought was best. How merciful them, huh? I'm sorry. And where did the wife's soul go? How do we bring her back? We must perform the ritual again so that the possession can be properly completed. Quick, grab her! We need to kill her mind so that she doesn't wake up ever again. Give us your body. It's for the peace of the church. Ah, uh, joke. Yes, this is all a joke. It's me, I'm her. I'm the pastor's wife. Don't you recognize me? Please believe me. I'm the person you all know and love, so... Please, just let me be. Well, so that wasn't a really good ending for her there. Yeah, I think, um, I'm trying to think, because the first ending, I think it was implied, though, that because we followed the instructions and everything, um, the pastor's wife, I guess, would take over the body anyway. So I think either way, Angelica, the angel, <laughs> you know, ends up, uh, worse off, I feel like. I think that's what was implied in the first ending, unless I'm misreading it. I could be mistaken. But ending two, false sacrifice. There you go. 
I believe those are the two endings. I, I think that was what was implied the first ending. I maybe have to look back, but I think, yeah, either way, if you follow the instructions, basically, then what happens is that Angelica, the original angel, uh, would kind of like, um, I don't know, it's kind of weird, but like, like she she, take, she succeeds, right, in taking over the body and everything, but because she followed the instructions and everything, that means... Uh, I assume Lisa, by the way, so I think that was the, the pastor's wife's real name, Lisa, takes over anyway, because they're fighting over the body and everything, and therefore the person that would follow the instructions is Lisa, and therefore would take over the body and kicks Angelica's soul out of the way, and then she just disappears or something, is what I assume the first ending was, right, and that's kind of what um, he intended, you know, the... Uh, forecast or whatever forecast forecast intended if you do however the defy the rituals expectations ironically you know showing that you do have some like you know ethics i guess um it actually shows that yeah you're the fake angel person taking over the body and you end up dying anyway so <laughs> so either way i feel like if you end up being cruel or like um sympathetic it's like either way, it just ends up bad for the original angel, it seems. At least, that's how I understand it. I'm not entirely sure. I, I don't know, it implies, that, again, the first ending seems to imply that's not a really a good ending. Um, but I could be wrong. I, again, I, m I might be misunderstanding. But I assume that's what it was, right? That's the original story anyway, as, as explained by the angel, right? Angelica was a fallen angel, wanted to find a new body, and therefore, you know, create a cult and trick them to, like... Uh, resurrecting the pastor's wife, really, she was just taking over the body and everything, right? And that's the original, like, uh, backstory of this game. There you go. As far as I know, there's only two endings to this game, so I guess that's it, right? Either way, kind of feels like a bad ending, but, you know, it was interesting, I feel like. Um, the puzzles weren't too hard. I'm bad at counting, but even then, I think, yeah, it wasn't too hard to, like, figure out the puzzles and everything. It has an interesting little style. Um, I think the game was made, like, it, you know, it's just like a lot of games that you. It was, like, made in, like, uh, you know, in a short amount of time. So that's why the game only took place in the church and everything. It's only one place. But I think it's pretty well made, actually. You know, I like the style and everything. I like the use of the 2D sprites on top of like some of the 3D stuff, which is kind of interesting, by the way. How do you do 3D in RPG Maker? This is an RPG Maker game, I think. How do you do, like, how do you do like 3D, like in RPG Maker? I've never seen a lot of that. I assume it's hard, actually, you know? It's not an engine made for like 3D stuff, as far as I know. Um, so yeah, it's really unique in that sense. And it has, you know, really good art, I would say. The, 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 the I assume developer is also the artist, I think. Um, because their name is Rachel Draws with this, so I assume they also drew the art. So yeah, the art is really good as well. And the translation was uh, pretty decent too. You know, I think there was like one, I saw like one typo. I think. But otherwise, yeah, I think it's a very well-made game. Um, I, you know, it's it's really good. I don't know what else to say. I think the, yeah, the story as well, you know. And I think the tone of the story, I, I liked as well. You know, I started off a little like comedic, I feel like, with the forecast guy, but definitely has a bit of like a dark twist to it, uh, which I like, you know. Uh, I like that kind of like story anyway. It's kind of like this ironic twist at the end and everything. Um, but yeah, I don't know, yeah, what else to say? It's, uh, you know, I think it's definitely uh, super underrated. I think, I mean, I only found this free recently, you know, and not, I feel like not a lot of people know about it. So definitely, yeah, I, I definitely would um, keep an eye on the uh, on developer uh, for any other games that might make in the future because this was very good. But yeah, um, I guess that was it for Eloquent Countenance. Um, if you are at YouTube, if you didn't know, I stream these games live on Twitch, so check me out over there if you're interested. Uh, I also have other videos on my channel, so you can look for those if you want. You know, I play a lot of RPG, these kind of like little indie RPG Maker games, so definitely a lot of those on my channel. And yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, see you then.